Hello folks, welcome to this new video, Andrew here, it's been a while, I bought Substance Painter and I had this issue, you know, I'm a beginner on texturing stuff and I exported my cube, my classical cube from Blender and I put it into Substance Painter. Now what happened is that I wanted to put that, you know, that rusty edges or that metallic edges on this cube. What happened is that I got nothing. Now the thing to do is basically pretty easy. The thing you need to do is to make sure your model has uh, a bevel in each age. In each age in which you want actually to have, you know, rusty and the curvature map um, will be recognized on that edges. Okay guys, here we have our 3D cube, the default one. So first thing first, we need to unwrap it and we're going to unwrap it. Actually, somehow 3D now just unwrap it automatically when you add it, but we're going to do that as well because we need to learn something like that. And I think that it should be something like this. We need this thing as well, that one, it should be fine, so basically select and mark seams, select everything, you unwrap it, and here we are. So basically, just let's go and explore our model in the Z frame here, solid, okay. Just select it, go to File, Export, and we're going to export our FBX. Once here, just give my cube, my cube, and and we're going to export only the mesh. And obviously, let's go and export FBX. Now, if I go on Substance Painter here, I'm going to create a new one going to select the metal roughness here and and just select here the cube okay and now what's going to happen is that if I go and bake the textures here mesh mesh maps what we need for this thing is the curvature one actually but let's see everything what's happening and you'll see that something something we're going to get here so curvature and we pan it rotate you see that we got just this one okay we're going to do this thing just to make sure that you're getting what what is happening add a fill make it red this red here and we're going to modify the roughness and here we're going to add some pure brass i don't know i want this pure brass here i'm going to add a mask a black mask and here we're going to add a generator and and the metal edge so basically we're going to get that edge only in this place here because the other places are not going to get that metal edge this is what i'm talking about so what i'm going to do now is go in blender select your mesh select every edge and just go and add a modifier a bevel and here just go up to nine and reduce you know the amount of space basically so this way where you're going to get uh, that the kind of sharpness but you're going to have more geometry here so just go and export this thing again select everything export like fbx and you need the mesh and you need to apply modifiers as well in geometry 
Once exported, I'm going to create a new file here. Select that that cube that cube here, my cube one. Change the dimension of the mesh, and here we are. Now, like you can see here, we have our cube. You, you you can basically see that there's more geometry here and what we're going to do is bake again all the things we need so start and the map is going to be a little bit higher and bake this thing again see that each edge here has its own a wide line that's because our curature map is recognizing its each age because there's more geometry now we're going to do just a little test here I'm going to add a fill layer this fill layer is going to be I don't know this yellow here and we're going to change the roughness make it a little bit this way this time we're going to add this thing probably I don't know and we're going to put some iron here and you see here we have this iron now what we're going to do is to add a black mask add a generator to this mask and we're going to add these edges and now what we're going to see is that oh wait, wait a minute by this this yellow here what we're going to see is that it is working actually now this metal edge here probably this yellow is just shit as well let's let's put this yeah this one like you can see, each edge here has its own ground effect on it. Like the color has aged and you can see underneath the color of the paint. So, okay guys, this was a very little video because I f found it very frustrating when I started and not it was not working for me so basically and hopefully you you find some help in this video see you next time